ocean has driven and been a creative force for uh, those living in Newfoundland and Labrador since the beginning, from indigenous peoples to settlers. About 100 years ago, 80% of Newfoundlanders were involved in the commercial fishery. And in 1992, just before the Cod Moratorium, about 30% um, of Newfoundlanders were involved in the fishery. And today, it's less than 2%. How is that story going to continue if less than two percent of us are involved in it? So that, so that's why, yes, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm trying to make it accessible and inclusive to as many people as possible. Well, you know, traditionally when women have gone out with their their boyfriends or their husbands or their dads, um, the guys have taken over, um, take the fish off the hook, put the worm on. And so when women are among themselves, they have to learn to do it themselves. And so then they that gives them really a, a sense of um, accomplishment and independence and empowerment. But if we're talking about professional fish harvesters and people actually on the water, only about 20% are women. I think that's where the joy comes from, is finally getting to do it yourself. You know, we also wonder about how, what what that means in the workplace. You know, if you're if you're not stepping forward when you're going on a camping trip, um, are you stepping forward at work? Are you letting the guys take over at work also? It's a good one. I just lost my third base. We need to get a, a kind of hook for you, excessive jigger. So I'm putting the fish down, and then I'm grabbing the hook at, near the top. People need to see others like them to start imagining themselves in those careers. If you want um, young women to start thinking about getting into fishing, whether it's recreational or commercial, then we've got to start getting uh, those who identify as female in the boats. And that's what we need. We want, we want more women doing that so they won't be an anomaly anymore. And the, the idea would be to call on those women skippers to take women under their wing and serve as mentors. 10,000 years ago, the, the first paintings on, on caves were salmon. And so why are we leaving out so many groups of people from this activity that has uh, driven human creativity and imagination and even exploration? So we're, we're really missing out on a lot if we're not encouraging the young humans behind us to get out on the ocean and, uh, and make that part of their exploration too.